Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is NinjaX21. I'm coming to you guys with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 5, Season 2 of you know my thoughts and my opinions. You're going to get the positive and negative in this one video. So make sure you give it a, a like, subscribe, show the bell, so you always get notified every time a new video releases. That way you can go and see any of my videos and you know get that no get that great notification every time it pops up. Um, also um these videos will you know release more and more if you guys do so so i would recommend you guys do that um it's a lot that i want to upload and it's a lot that you guys can give me topics on so if you go down in the comments and kind of just talk to me about what you think um what's your opinion on the game right now what do you guys want to do and let's let's go ahead and get into the video here um so the things I kind of wanted to talk about were Fortnite Festival, for example. Uh, we wanted to talk about the Battle Pass. Um, we wanted to talk about the Weapon Pool. We wanted to talk about um, the Avatar Collab that just, you know, re recently came out. We already knew Korra was in the game, but we also got Aang, Zuko, uh, Toph, and we got, um, I don't know, I think that was it as far as Avatar. Um... We got many more things to talk about if it comes into my head in this one video because I'm not jotting down anything as far as notes are concerned. Um, we will go down in it, but let's go ahead and talk about it. So the first thing I want to start off is the loot pool. We got many, many different weapons um, into the game, um, but it's not too many weapons, but it's not too little of the amount, if you got what I mean. It's... it's it's almost like a just right type feel as far as I guess the loot pool is concerned. Um we have obviously the weapons we had last uh last season. Uh we have the pistol, the burst SMG is still there, the pump is still there, um the auto shoddy is still there. We still have also um snipers certain snipers that were there from those seasons as well or back um but we also got a new shotgun called the gatekeeper shotgun which i think is my favorite shotgun this season the gatekeeper is honestly really freaking good i will give it that the gatekeeper is a really nice shotgun we also have the harbinger shotgun i mean not shotgun the smg that is a really good a uh SMG and then also the AR we have the Warforge AR which is uh, a bit on the recoil side but if you can control it it's not a bad AR to carry around either especially the one Ares got um, so that's a pretty cool one so I think the loot pool overall or is actually not that bad in this new season let's talk about the medallions the medallions are something in the game that have been in the game for maybe three seasons if i'm not wrong and um the two that i've experienced in my game playing so far um i don't know the one with the green uh green around like the green skulls around as far as the, the medallion is concerned um i think what it says on the top of the screen there is cerberus so i think that's the one but um we also have Ares. Um, so the Cerberus one you can um, get from ba uh, basically going to Grim Gate. And let me see if my uh, my my thing shows up for it. Actually, I think I killed that guy first, and then it happens. Um, so you pick it up, and it gives you the speed that makes you kind of like just jump. It's three skulls around. And each time you use that uh, little jump and and you pretty much jump again and it makes you do like a dash kind of. Um, it also kind of brings in the skull and the, the skull goes away. And I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, the skull kind of just goes away there. Um, and I'm not sure that's exactly what the medallion does. It was something that I had. It might, it may have been the shotgun. It may have been the shotgun that that gave you that ability. But some, just let, let's just say something did. I'm not sure exactly what, but something did. But it's all in that area, um, as far as I know. Um, so we got that into the game, and 
the medallions are cool, but we also have the Ares one. Um, I think we have maybe two more, two or three more, if I'm not wrong. Um, the Ares one kind of gives you, if you hit inspect on it, you go into your inventory and you hit inspect. Um, it shows that the Ares one has it so that um, you can, uh, when you hit somebody from a certain range or whatever, um, especially your longer range weapon, it's supposed to do more damage. So the Ares one is kind of cool as well. I hit inspect on that one specifically while I was streaming earlier. If you guys didn't check out that stream, it was awesome. So anytime I stream, check it out, hang out, talk to your boy. And also, um, like, if you guys want to play, um, I'll be down for that as well. Um, I've always been looking for people to play. As long as you chill or whatever, you can go ahead and join the stream, ask to play. I will play with you, um, but don't expect it to be an everyday thing. Um, if you're friends with me on PlayStation or Xbox, message me beforehand. Don't be rude about it. Invite me to a party like 21 times. Because if you invite me to a party 21 times, you will get blocked. Just saying. Just saying. But, um, moving on here. Um, I didn't talk about the bending, um, as well. Um, we have fire bending, water bending, earth bending, and air. Um, it's... It's um, the whole Avatar thing that we were talking about earlier with all the Avatar characters, which I thought it was pretty cool. Um, they not insanely overpowered, by the way. I thought they were a nice touch to the game. So, eh. Isn't a, it isn't a bad thing, in my opinion. But it was it was a nice touch to the game. Let's be real. Um, moving on. Um... I kind of wanted to just talk about the some of the collabs that we are got and kind of trying to want to name off as much as I possibly could off the top of my head. So we got WWE in the game. We have Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch in Fortnite. Um, we got them a long time ago. Um, we have Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. We got Master Chief from uh, Halo. We have uh, Zuko, Ang, Toph, and Katara from avatar we have snake from metal gear we have um who else we have we have kratos from god of war which i have not seen his pig ass release not once or kratos have not came back in a long time so that's pretty interesting laura croft we have batman we have superman starfire beast boy uh raven um the Joker, all those DC kind of characters there. Then, then on the Marvel side, we have uh, the Hulk. We have Black Widow. We have Captain Marvel. Um, we have Wolverine. We have Deadpool. We have Spider-Man. We have uh, Doctor Doom. We have so many different uh, ones on the uh, Marvel side as well. And we also have an NFL collab, an NBA collab. Um, we have, um, what else we got? It's so much, man. It's so much. I don't want to, you know, take up the whole entire video talking about that one thing. But I kind of just wanted to do this thing where I name off as many as I could off the top of my head. And we got a decent amount of collapse pretty much out of out of the way, squared away. Um, but the two I didn't say was Siri and Yenfer, um, from The Witcher, and also the uh main main character from The Witcher, um, was also part of that. So. There was a big integration of uh, the whole collab thing as well. Uh, we also have Venom. I didn't mention him, but that kind of went into the whole Marvel thing. I was only supposed to talk about a few of those, but hey, it is what it is. Moving on. Um, Fortnite Festival. Um, I think the UI um, in the game, which we'll talk about that later, but Fortnite Festival... Um, Here's my problem with this. And I want to get a little serious about this for a second. So, we have Rocket Racing and Fortnite Festival pretty much taking up most of the shop. And then we get this little bit of things from the item shop that are regular skins. And the rest of the stuff is filled with collapse. Me personally, if I can do anything, when you click on the Rocket Racing mode, I want all the cosmetics to be there for you to buy. 
I don't want it to be in the item shop. I know it's called the item shop when it has all pretty much the items from every mode in there. But I kind of want something new. I kind of want some of that stuff to go into the rocket pass, especially if it's old, um, and kind of just be there, right? Fortnite Festival, I kind of want that to be in the Fortnite Festival section. That way it could clear some stuff from the item shop because I think it's taking up a big part of the item shop and it's making it less um, less cool to just check out the shop each and every single day because it almost seems like it's the same thing over there. I don't mind the artists and different things like that. I love the mode itself. But uh, other than Battle Royale, I think uh, Fortnite Festival is an awesome, awesome mode. Um, and maybe we can get that going one day to the point where it's not taking up as much of the shop or is at the lower section of the shop. So when you check out the whole shop, that would be on the lower end. That would kind of be nice to see as well be done. But I think it's a, a decent amount of things that need to be changed with the game. Um, and I think let's go ahead and talk about our last one now. At least I think this is our last one. If anything pops up in my head, I will say, but rarities is something that has gotten removed. And I kind of want to just give my thoughts on that. Uh, so obviously, you know, the, the different rarities, legendary, epic, uncommon, rare. Um, it actually goes from legendary, epic, rare, uncommon. Um, they all got removed from Fortnite all got removed so when you go to the item shop you're willing to buy let's say black widow returns she's part of the marvel series that's all you know you don't know if she's epic you don't know if she's legendary for example the black widow i'm talking about she's an epic skin and she is no longer an epic skin apparently in fortnite um, same thing with like any other collab skins. They are considered just certain a certain series, except for Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Leonardo. Um, I was looking at that and seeing that they didn't have anything that said they was part of a particular series, or they were like, mm, they were you know a part of any rarity. So they was considered just a Fortnite outfit. So, I thought that was pretty disrespectful on the on Epic Games part for doing them dirty like that. Also, um, with just regular skins, you know, because if I want to go Jungle Scout, and I was like, um, what rarity was Jungle Scout? I'm over here thinking in my head, Uncommon, which she is Uncommon, but somebody else can be thinking, oh, this skin, skin looks a little too good to be Uncommon type you know thing or whatever so they'd be probably thinking it's a different rarity of a skin or whatever you change that um whoever decided to change that ui um system is messed up same thing with the locker it's so bad like i think things need to be changed within that and kind of get some things situated there um as far as rarity is concerned I want them to bring it back. I would love to have my legendaries, my epics and stuff, and have my locker provide some color for the different things. So, obviously, we know green is uncommon. Epic is like purple. Rare is blue. And legendary is like an orange type color. Um, I think y'all need to, as far as epic games, I think y'all need to just bring that back. Bring that back. People like competitive players ain't gonna see a problem with it, but the casual player in me sees it. I think it's a problem. If any of you don't think it's a problem, and they think they pretty much are moving away from what this game used to be. It's definitely not the same game, I would say, but it has aspects of you having fun in the game in a way. Nobody's complaining about the gameplay. Chill. Nobody's complaining about skins. But we are complaining about rarities. We are complaining about the UI. Small things you can change. By the way. These ain't things that are detrimental for, to the game. For, for the game to be like, oh, the game's dead. I never said the game was dead. But I said, 
I did say is it Fortnite's end as far as trying to kick the old players out that have been playing their game for years just so these new players can have fun in it. That's the whole thing I kind of meant by that. But, you know, it's a lot of people that just don't understand where I would come from in that particular situation. So I kind of explained it the best I could. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what I'm talking about. But, hey, what can you do? Last but not least, I kind of just wanted to have a conversation about my journey. And kind of like what I want to do. Um, so later tonight, I think I wanted to do a, I think I want to do a Black Ops 3 stream on zombies. Um, but as far as Fortnite concerned, I think I'm going to start playing a little bit of it more throughout the week. So Monday, um, Monday after I go and get my phone or whatever, um, at least hopefully it's tomorrow, um, I will come back and we are do a stream. And we are trying to see how far we can uh, go as far as that is concerned. Um, and we will play Fortnite. We will play Fortnite on stream tomorrow. Uh, look for that around 3 o'clock. We'll play for a total of 2 and a half to 3 hours. And we will um, hopefully get to the point where it's a really fun experience. Um, like it was today. I absolutely had a blast playing Fortnite today. And it it was it was something just so special in my opinion. Um I enjoyed every minute of it. I enjoyed every minute of it. But that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys for just checking it out. And I'm gonna leave the rest of the minutes of my stream to you guys. Peace. Sprinting is not on my side right now. That was crazy. I realized I could have just done that to escape. That's my freaking fault. Please tell me you got meds. Big pot. Um, did I just see a golden banana? Oh yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, he's up here. Okay, bud. Just give me that dub, I guess. Turned out pretty good. Oh, yeah. Get out of here, bro. Holy crap. Mmm. I did like I felt really rusty in that fight. I felt very rusty. And I don't know who I can really get to play Fortnite with me. 
I, I think that's literally all I'm missing. It's actually not that bad. I don't know how duo squads and trios would feel, but solo is feeling just fine right now. That's all I'm missing. Like, some friends that I can play with. It honestly isn't that bad. I think.